Hello everyone, welcome to today's session. In this session, we are going to see what is RPA, what can RPA do for us, what are the benefits of RPA, and we will be seeing the term called bot and types of bots and bot development options. Let's jump into it. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to clone yourself? That is someone sitting at your office desk to do all the tedious and monotonous work. In the modern world, that's called robot. To do all the tasks that were previously done by humans. In, in software, we apply the same concept bundled with a process called robotic process automation. Robotic process automation is a software program, not like any physical robot which has a legs, arms, and uh, taking bringing out a keyboard and start coding for you. It's a software program which will try to record human actions, which is a collection of keystrokes, mouse event, and some rule decision actions. So these actions are played by the computer to mimic the mimic exactly what human does. These recorded action is also known as Bot. So in simple words, human actions which are performed on an application are recorded and orchestrated in a such a way where, wherein you can able to apply them back on an application or mimic them back on the application, which more stable and harmonious way. In simple terms, RPA is a software program that imitates human actions while interacting with the computer application and accomplishing automation of repetitive rule-based process. So now the question comes what it can do, right? It can do data entry work for us as it as human does repeatedly enter information to the applications, entering the data into a forms. And one of the better example. Copy pasting means extra scraping some content from the website and storing it on the spreadsheet, copying some information from one of the websites to a Word document and create a report. So these are some of the examples. Or at the same time interacting with multiple applications and verification of any rules or check, check whether this is there or not, if it is correct or not. So all those things it can do. Authentication, it can validate whether things are right as well as navigation going from one 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 application or one screen to another screen doing some tasks to other task so these are some of the very common use case where rpa can be applied or used for it is to an extent laborious for a human being monotonous for a human being to perform these tasks which could be recorded automated and then executed again and again by the computer itself which saves tremendous amount of time so some of the benefits of RPA are productivity, which is a bot or a program which requires just a computer and it runs 24 into 7 into 365 days. It doesn't take any breaks. It doesn't need to go on off. It doesn't get sick. So it keeps on executing. So high productivity can be achieved and this constantly run. Cost it, right? So once you deploy it, you don't have to do put a human to it, which is also called as a digital workforce. You when you put, when you put a bot into a place, it, it saves the cost because you don't need that much amount of human being skill. Like hiring people, training them, ramping up, ramping them up, or if the works is not there, ramping them down is a very costly process. The, some of the very benefit of, of RPA is you can ramp up, up or down. It's just a matter of server, you add a couple of servers or a couple of uh, compute to the bot, it just ramps up if the demand is high or peak, your workload is high. It can also have very, gain highly accuracy because it's undistracted. It reduces all the human errors. So these are the, some of the benefits of RP where you can apply an RP. Bot, bot is a code or a program. Uh, which is a collection of task rules or keyboard or mouse actions or navigations pattern which interacts with application just like human does human interacts with application like applications and uh, in short form it's called uh, a bot or short for robot it's a software program that performs automated repetitive predefined tasks it typically imitates or replace human user behavior because they are automated they operate much faster than human users so types of bots. So bots are two types. One is an attended bot and another one is called unattended bots. Attended bots are works with human, generally an approval process wherein you want to see all the things been, uh, but you human wants to approve it and ensure that it is done correctly. Those kind of processes or those kind of things wherein a bot and a human work in tandem to make the job successful or task successful is called attended bots. There is unattended bot, which is fully automated. Once you teach the robot how to do that task and then you accurately test it. So it interacts and keep on performing with the 
part that's called unattended parts it is often used used for straight through processes wherein you just don't need any humans in in between whereas attended part you need human in the loop means human is required so human and digital workforce working together so these are the two types of bots which we have now this brings us a question what are the bot development options if i need to develop a bot how do i develop this bot so there are again bot development perspective we have two options one is cards which is commercial off the shelf bot development platforms which is very popular available in the marketplace you can always go there are a lot of options available like uh, populars are uipath automation anywhere pega workfusion blue prism these are some of the very popular cards product there's another open source options which is another option which is called open source options which is open rpa basket robocop tag ui automagica at the time of recording this session some of the some of these products are in transitional phase to become a commercial cards product so these are two options which you have for bot development in this session as we go on we are going to see open source bot development option that's what we are our primary focus and we'll be using or we'll be focusing on a tool which is tag ui it's getting very popular as it's tag ui is free and open source so you can see the source you can it's it's absolutely free it is operating system independent you can run it on windows mac or linux it supports visual automation you can basically do visual automation of web and desktop applications likewise you can write in 20 plus human languages uh, also support javascripts and python which are very popular for development languages learning curve is pretty easy like in a day you can get started uh, in, with an implementation may not guarantee like a very high production based systems you can able to develop it but it, it's pretty fast to learn and then get started quickly these are the various reasons why we are going to see let's learn tag ui in detail in coming sessions to conclude we are going to see and focus on tag ui rpa for anyone thanks for watching this session see you another one